there it is, the Swinodon Paradoxus. Despite the fact that it's venomous, nocturnal, insectivorous, and can paralyze its prey within 3 to 5 minutes, it's pretty small. These Caribbean mammals are something else. Oh, she's given birth to three babies at once. Solodons can also give birth up to twice a year. That's the most possible to have for these mammals. The babies will need their mom for food for about two and a half months before they can hunt on their own. When they can't hunt, can hunt on their own, they eat lizards, spiders, millipedes, ground beetles, grasshoppers, crickets, earthworms, leaves, roots, and some fruit. They can catch their prey by ripping apart logs with their strong claws or digging in the ground with their long, mobile snout. These mammals are nocturnal. They only go outside at night because it's dangerous for them. They can't walk in a straight line and only walk in a zigzag course. They are extremely clumsy. This is because they have bad eyesight, but they make up for it with this hearing and smelling. If anyone or anything tries to attack it, or if daylight comes, the Sundadons would hide in their burrows or spit venom. Some of their main predators are mongooses, some birds of prey, some snakes, domestic cats, or dogs. They can live in many different habitats, like forest, subtropical and tropical lowland, subterranean habitats, caves, and brush country. So yeah, that's all there is to know about the Solodon Paradoxus. Bye -bye.